Lego's made a lot of motorized train sets through the years, and in this box is the best one they've ever made. I'm gonna open it up and show you why. Let's do this. You guys, this box is like huge. It can barely even fit it on this table. But when this arrived, it was like a blizzard outside. It still is. So it got wet, right? All over. So I dried off the top as quickly as possible, but I completely forgot about the bottom. It's dry now, but I'll show you the clip from earlier. Guys, this is really bad. I had it flipped upside down the other way, right? And I dried off the top and everything with the towel. I didn't think about the bottom and it's been like a couple hours since I received it. And this thing is soaked. Uh. Mm. Hopefully it's good and everything inside isn't wet. Okay, I flipped it back upside down and I put towels underneath it, so hopefully it's good. So yeah, hopefully it's not damaged inside. There's a box of the set in here. I'm guessing it will be damaged with um, how much water there was. Um, but, you know, that kind of sucks because of how much it is. But there's like a little hole in the corner right here. And looking in there, I don't see any plastic around the box, like the actual set box. So we'll see. Let's open this. It's not by Tar from Target, by the way, guys. This is an old set from like 90s. There we go, that side's free. Okay, last cut. Okay guys, I got it loose. I wanted one of these for like so long, so I'm like I'm super excited. Boom. Oh, there's some bubble wrap. So on the bottom, we might be good. I don't know, I hope we are. Can you guys even see this? Sorry, the camera is not getting it very well. So there's a layer of this. There's bubble wrap. The top of the box, it looks good. I'm just worried about the bottom where it's wet for forever. Oh, okay. From what I can see, I don't know what I can show you guys. The box is fine on the back, so phew, that's relief. And they packaged it pretty good. It's got bubble wrap on the bottom, I think is what saved it. Yeah, because I can see down here at the bottom, it's still like wet cardboard-ish. So I'm so glad this all I put bubble wrap in here. Otherwise that box would be done for in that box. This box alone probably costs a ton. Uh, but yeah, this is the set right here. Let's see what's inside. Boom, well, they really packaged everything. They like put a full bubble wrap inside of here. That's actually nice. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, this box isn't in the greatest of conditions. Look inside, but the outside is fine, so whatever. He has the instructions in his own Amazon Prime bag, like what? It comes with all the original stuff. Lego shop at home from, oh man, this comes with all the manuals. This is from the 90s too, I think this is 99. It comes with this manual. Harry Potter, original Harry Potter sets. Bro, this is insane. And not all the stickers were put on. It looks like there's two right there that haven't been put on. Then here's the set. There's the first car. There's a little station. Warning about the electrics, which that'll spoil what it is maybe. Just kidding. And then there's a the car, another car, and another manual. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in this though. Now it's time for the actual set. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. Oh, okay. Check the bubble wrap over there. Cardboard, this guy, the cardboard didn't come with it, I don't think, right? I doubt it. Dang, okay, what should I start with? I don't know where to start. These are the tracks, right? These are the straight track. These things are like $4 a piece, I think. They're super expensive. There's a platform, we put all like the spare pieces of bills that haven't been built in here. I just gotta take this all out. This is like crazy. There's two cars right here that came in the set. There's so much to this. And, oh, there's all the minifigures and stuff. And then, some black pieces. I don't even know where those would go. Maybe another car. This box is heavy. This must be like the power adapter. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, look at that. That's a chonky adapter. Okay, it is the official Lego adapter. It still has the tag on it too. That's way heavier than I thought it would be. Let's get the rest of the track. This is curve track, it looks like. I can't wait to have this up and running. We haven't gotten to the actual electronics really yet, but as you might notice on these tracks, they have metal on them. If you are into model trains, then you might be familiar. But yeah, these are the tracks. I actually already have one curve track. I got a long time ago, just one to see what it was like. So I've just had one that doesn't work for like forever. So there's a full circle of curve track plus two straight track. So fairly big. I got more track on the way though. Then there's the trains. These cars are way bigger than I thought. I thought they'd like small, but Wait, they come with chrome vents too? Bro, I didn't even know that. That is actually sick. Oh, there's the train. The windows are actually really good condition too. They're not scratched. Looks like it has never been taken apart, which is nice. And you gotta do the other car. So one of these cars is like a food car and one of them is a passenger car. It looks like he put some of the people in there. So the, in that bag wasn't all the people apparently. Yeah, so I'm guessing this one's a food car since that one has people in it. What's in this car? There's not even anything in this car, I feel like. Oh no, this is the car car. There's not a food car. What am I thinking? That sticker is peeling up right there a little bit, but it's fine. This is the important stuff. This is super expensive of stuff right here guys so that's why i saved it for last this right here is one of the parts that make the train go and this is where it gets expensive so i cannot break any of this stuff right here i can't wait to see this oh man okay okay, okay. oh it's 
beautiful. Okay, so these wheels are metal right here and those metal wheels run on the metal rails and it gets powered. But what does it get powered by? It's right there. So this is like crazy because these motors alone, I think are at like 70, 80 ish, I think for motors. So they're really expensive. So that's why I don't break this. <laughs> this is what controls it and leads it to the track. I gotta be really careful with this especially. So this cable right here attaches to the track and this adapter plugs into this from the wall. And this one cable alone, there's just a small cable, costs like $90 to buy. It's so much. So I do not want to break it. This one's in really good condition too. Like there's not a single like thing wrong with the track and usually there's something wrong with it. So I don't want to break it. So yeah, I think that's everything. So now I gotta like set it up somewhere. So yeah, let me uh, move all this stuff over on the floor somewhere and we can try setting it up and see if it works. Okay, so I just gotta grab the track here. The reason why this is the best one is because there is literally no batteries involved in this. It's so nice. Yeah, there's no batteries in this at all. It just plugs straight into the wall and you never have to worry about batteries. Like that is just the best. And I'm getting it right now so it can go around the Christmas tree. So we'll put it over there in a second. There's the circle. I haven't attached the tracks yet because I need the straight track. Here's the straight track. So now let's just use this half and then attach them all. And then put some straight tracks. So the dude that I bought this from, he bought this to run for Christmas, but he says he doesn't use it very much. He's like a train collector. So he was selling it. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. And it's in really good condition too. This entire set is, let's get the super heavy power brick. And I have an extension cable right down here. Okay, so we've got the power right there. Now I'm gonna get the control and the super expensive cable that I definitely do not want to break. This thing has rubber feet. I didn't realize that, but that's kind of nice. So then the cable attaches on whatever part of the track I want. So let's just put it right there. It goes under the track like that. And now that's attached. And then I just plug this thing in somewhere. I honestly don't remember where. Right here. Now it's a green light, so that must mean that something's happening. So now, if I put this on the track, and then I attach the cars to the track. Okay, let's see, let's see this magic happen. Can't wait. These use magnets too. I've never gotten the Lego train sets with magnets. It's kind of nice, actually. Okay, there we go, moment of truth. All right here, let's try it. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. Okay, which way is forward, this way? Oh my god, it's zooming. Okay, then we can. Oh, look at that. It works. Right, let's try to go backwards. Let's try to go backwards. Oh. Wait, I just saw that. I just saw that. Wait, whoa, whoa. There is lights on the front of the engine, right? So when I go quick, the lights turn on, so it's funny. Oh my, this thing's zoom in. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's see, I gotta put everything in it. Okay, this is interesting. So looking at the instructions right here, there's like these mini instructions that are like poly bag instructions almost. And it's to all the little builds. So like all these, like this is the red car right here, which the red car is like halfway built. Um, so yeah, there's just all these little things. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna build them real quick and then we can put them in the train and have it all ready to go. Guys, real quick, while I was looking at these manuals, this one right here isn't actually like a manual. It's more like telling them like, showing the like you can take it apart and build other things out of it which i forgot that old lego sets did this so like right here it just says to tear it apart right and then you could like can build this other car that's like open top sort of so like you can put your cars in it and actually like see them i think and then like shows some other examples here and then there's like a passenger one that's weird <laughs> yeah it just basically shows that oh is this all the ones from that wave i want that one right there it's a nine volt crossing it's like a i don't know how to explain it it's like two where two tracks can cross but just that alone is like 35 bucks but it'd be really cool so i might get that one these days yeah there's two of this set as you can see but one of the sets didn't even come with the stuff to power the train for some reason but the one i got does so i don't know why they did that but you know they did but yeah let's let, let me get back to building Okay, I finished building the rest of the set. So is this part right here, which I built up and it's got all this stuff on it. It's got like a sticker to where they're going and stuff. So it says like Berlin. I don't even know how to say those other places. So let's not try. Um, but as you can see, this sticker is on two one by four bricks stacked up. So those are never coming apart basically. <laughs> but yeah, so this thing right here, if I line it up with the car, this one's meant to hold like cars in it, this train car. So I lift it up and then if I get one of these cars, this one right here was halfway complete. So I just finished building it. This opens up and then you can drive them up into the train car. And then you close it up 
You're ready to go. I think this middle is actually meant for this one. There's three of them in the set, so one can go right there. So place them in there and then room. I think this one in the middle. This one's actually cool because it's got a sunroof. So you can put someone's head out the sunroof. I got my head out the sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. Okay, um, and this next one's a passenger car. So there's just like people inside of there. These guys watching TV or something. And then these guys are eating like a pizza. And then there's the front, of course. And all these have chrome vents on top. They're so beautiful. So as you can see, it's like super reflective. And speaking of chrome pieces, there's this one in this set too. It's like a or it's like super shiny. It's supposed to go in the safe one, this one right here with the money in there, but I just don't want it to get scratched or anything because it's so beautiful. So I'm not putting it in there. This green car right here, it can hold these things I just showed you, like this money thing right here, they open up and you can grab stuff out of it. But these two bars right here attach onto this car, which is pretty cool. And then see, it matches it really well. Uh, but you can do that with any of the colors, so like yellow works too. And these can also in the side of the passenger car, you can take this part off and they are meant to fit right in there like that. And you put this back on. So now we got like a food thing in there so yeah that's basically everything it got built there's also the mini figures i won't show you all of them but they're like 90s figures right and then there's these spare pieces i don't know how many are supposed to be spares like the steering wheel shouldn't the steering wheel be going in one of these sets i probably missed it to be honest because instructions are hard to follow from the 90s i feel like it should be going right there okay yep i forgot to put that piece there so that's probably how most of those pieces are in that bag i just didn't see where they went um <laughs> yeah there's like two plates in here and stuff too there's some extra accessories too which probably just go with some of the mini figures so now i can just take this motor off of this engine and it just comes off really simply like that and I can just put that right on my Hogwarts Express over there so let's try it. Okay let's take off the Hogwarts Express and now out with the new and in with the old. Am I right? This track is older than that one uh, but it's like 20 times better so actually more than 20. <laughs> so yeah it runs the exact same like all trains all modern trains can still run on this it's just got metal on it instead of just plastic. Okay, there we go. I finally got it in there. And now you get the Hogwarts Express here. I can take off this. I extended it out by one on each side so it can actually fit the motor on the bottom. And they just added some coal to the top too, because why not? I made it out of like cheese slow since it looks nicer than just studs up there. So yeah, I just need to take this off. See, all that just comes off. And then I made a hole in the bottom as well that the motor can just go right in. Okay, here's the motor. I completely removed everything from it. So it's just like the motor now. And then right here, it should just be able to attach in like that. I'm also just gonna lock it in with a couple pieces and it will be able to run better because right now it doesn't look too good. Okay, so I added these things down here. So it's just how the Hogwarts Express attaches is just do these and it needs these to attach to the cars together. And now it should just attach right on here. It stays there, it's a little tall is what I realized, but if I shorten this, it'd still look weird. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. It should work fine. So yeah, I can just put these back on here put on the track. Okay, everything's plugged in and ready to go. So if I move this, this train should move. It's being pushed too. It's being, it's pushing the front engine and pulling the back. I think it'll work, so hopefully it does. On the lowest setting, it's not doing anything. Crap. Okay, we are not moving. Yeah, it's still not going for it. I think I do need more weight. Just putting my hand on there. As you can see, if I just rest it on there a little bit, it starts trying to move. So we probably want some more weight on it. I don't know if the issue is it being in between the cars or not. So let's just combine the engine straight to this car and put the coal cart at the back. And let's see if it can just pull these cars at all. Because if it can pull them, then it's that issue. I don't know though. Let's see. Yeah, I think it needs more weight on it. Okay, so to make it heavier, the only like official way I can figure out how to do this without the weighted bricks is I just made a cube literally of plates. But don't worry, I can take it apart really easily because I did, uh, I put plates on the end so it'll come apart a lot easier. But that will just sit in here. So let's put that in there and squish it down. And now just put the top back on. This definitely makes it heavier. I don't know if it'll be heavy enough though. Okay, let's test it. Let's try in. Hey, it's moving, but like it's slipping a lot still. <laughs> it still slips even when I push it down. I still think I need more weight. Okay, so I filled in this right here, plus I made these side panels, a ton of one by two plates instead. So it should have added some decent weight to this, I'm hoping, and hopefully it'll go a little nicer than last time. Okay, let's try it. What the? 
Okay, I was like, why is it not moving? I accidentally made these so big that they were rubbing against the wheels. So yeah, I just need to take those off real quick and now it should work. So yeah, just the car by itself, it definitely runs good. You just need to do this with all the things on it. Dang it, it's still like struggling. Why does it struggle so bad? Okay, it's been literally like a couple hours and I don't know if it's gotten better or I've just had dealt with it, but I think that it works good enough. Like, especially for a steam train, it doesn't need to go that fast. I think it'll work. I don't know. I've just tried so much. I think I'm just going to go with it. I added these cars just to see because I'm adding two more Hogwarts Express cars to this. That'll probably be in the next video or that's video soon. I'll be making two more of those. So that'll be cool. Uh, but yeah, I think it runs pretty well. This is max speed right here. And for a steam engine, that is way too fast. As you can see, it just derailed because there's a cord running under the track. But it can kind of run on full speed. Yeah, see, it's going on full speed right now. That is way too fast. I'd keep it on a more moderate speed like this or something. And I think it works. So I think we're good. You want to see my mess though? This is my mess of everything. I like tried so much. I, I tried to find Lego weights. This is a Lego boat weight. Didn't work, but I tried pennies. Pennies actually held it down a lot. I wanted my thing to be only official Lego, so I didn't want to do that. I think it works good enough. See? Now it's under the Christmas tree, except this stuff doesn't match at all, but it'll be hard with Express cars soon enough. So yeah, the reason I love this so much is right there. It plugs straight into the wall. Instead of any of this crap with batteries inside, like, come on, this is modern day stuff too. Instead of that, go back in time. Spend like a lot more and uh, just get one that could plug in. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, that's why I love this so much. Okay, guys, that's it for the video. Let me know down in the comments which one you guys prefer. Do you prefer nine volt like this one that like plugs into the wall and stuff? Or do you prefer like battery powered? There's pros and cons of both, but for me, it's definitely nine volt because plugging into the wall is just really, really nice. But yeah, if you want to check out a video similar to this, I'll have a link up here in the corner and down in the description. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. Hey Google, nobody cares. So yeah, that's basically what's built. There's a couple mini, this. Crap. <laughs>